In this video, we'll be going over the top trending niche research ideas, and this is number 18. And my goal is to help you make money with your print on demand business, and it doesn't matter where you're selling at online. It can be Amazon, it can be Redbubble, it can be Etsy, it can be your own website with Shopify, it doesn't matter. And before we get into the content, make sure you guys double check for trademarks, copyright, and all that fun stuff, okay? Just because I'm showing it to you doesn't mean that you don't have to do the work on your end and double check. And all I ask is give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So the first niche is going to be uh, s'mores. First thing I'm thinking about is outdoor camping. This is big right now because a lot of people are doing camping. So even next year when it comes around, it's going to be trending throughout the whole summer. And I think it's just going to be an evergreen niche. So if we come down right here, group hug, you got the graham cracker, chocolate, and then the s'more on fire. Anything that you can create as far as like illustration or like a story on a shirt that's really funny and simple straight to the point it's going to be a top seller in a niche as you can see this one right here is a hundred and two sr right you can see s s'mores marshmallows camping roasting bonfire you can see where they're targeting who this is like being targeted towards bonfires so even that's a niche too as well camping roasting you just get the idea right here girls girls have s'mores girls have s'more fun and then if you go down you can see like these different sayings what they're doing here and you can see another group hug see what they did here with this it's on fire and now think about because when you're at the you're at a campfire and you have a marshmallow on a stick or on a like a coat hanger like a metal coat hanger i'm not sure if they make those anywhere so it's some so back in the day when I used to, when I was a kid, I used to use metal coat hangers on the bonfire or the campfire and roast the marshmallow, light it on fire and play with it. But you can see what they're doing here. Just think about different ideas when you're doing this. A graham cracker, chocolate, s'mores, fire, campfire. You can see what they did right here. Just a different funny sayings. If you can even apply like a trending a saying to this niche, they can do really well too. Just you have to think about it, do some little bit of homework and see what you can do. But group hug seems to be one of the top ones. Girls have s'more fun. If you come down right here, s'more squad. That's cool. You see what they did there? That's pretty cool. And dabbing official s'more. Official s'mores taste tester. Yeah, the group hug. Official. I'm not a hot mess. Yep. You see what they did? Just mix the different saying with that and put together an illustration with the retro background. And it's selling. But as far as outdoor and s'mores, you can see this. Yeah, this has good. I'm thinking outdoor camping and then s'mores. Maybe someone's sitting around a campfire doing some s'mores, dino s'mores. I love what they did right there. Just mixing it up, cross niching. And that's a really good idea. Even to just go into any competitive niche, if you can figure out how to do that or be one of the first ones. Mixing a T-Rex with any niche just seems to be working pretty good. It's Especially if it involves kids that's a good way to do it yeah awesome niche right here funny cool marshmallow and also too one thing i want to point out you want to be very careful with the using i know that there's a marshmallow dj you want to be careful with that you don't want to be uh using anything that you can't you don't and if you're watching this long give this video a thumbs up and hopefully this gives you some ideas so you can make more money all right so the next niche is going to be election day it's coming up november 8th 22 two. look at this you're seeing right here vote here you're seeing like signs like that this may be a good idea for a t-shirt there's ideas everywhere by the way just whatever you're seeing in this video the idea behind the video is just to give you guys an insight of what can work on a t-shirt sometimes the most silliest things work on a t-shirt right you don't have to be no off the wall artist to be creating a t-shirt design you can create simple text-based designs i've created designs that make sales and they trend niches and i know a lot of people that have done this just to give you an like, idea, there's several different ways that, that this can be done. There's not just one way to do it. So think out, think about what you can do. You can even do your research over here on Google. You don't have to use the Merchant Farmer tool that I'm using, which will be down below in the description if you guys want to sign up with a coupon code. But yeah, so it's election day. Vote for me. You can see that little design that they have. Circle with a little, some, a little like a little badge with the stars around it. It says vote for me. And you can see that it's it's doing pretty good from the looks of it. And this is some of the things you don't have to put. Don't be putting the year on it, 222. Or if you even just put try to turn it to an evergreen, evergreen design as much as possible. That's one way you can do that. This right here, it just a, it's an idea of if you put the year on it, it's only going to be good for that year. But if you try to go into thinking about I'm going to create a design for it can do really well for every time they're in this election day or something around voting or something like that, it can make sales. And then next year it turns into an evergreen trending 
top selling design. And if we look at the BSR, you're going to see that it's starting to make sales in 2021. And then it starts to be a little bit more consistent with the sales in 22.2. Getting closer to the date, it's going to obviously you can see the it's trending down, which the lower this is, the more sales velocity that it's breaking in. So think about that. So come back over here to Merchant Informer. There's so much that can be done in this niche. There's there's people for certain people and there's people for against certain people. I don't play around in these niches myself. I just stay away from this because there's a lot of a lot of fuss and arguing on social media over this type of thing. And I just stay away from it. A future voter. That's a cool one. But yeah, no election day. If you can think of something, you can like a donkey the hat on <laughs> that's cool 2020 if you can think of something for election day i would do so see the average bsr in this niche it's around 800k 900k this can be a good niche and you can dominate with some good sales if done correctly all right the next niche is going to be uh, apple the apple niche now there's so many different ways you can use an apple on a t-shirt i'm going to show you right now so new york obviously the big apple so even just thinking about that different states different fruits is there there's a peach is there are these states using different types of fruits is there something that you can create i think georgia's the peach i believe if i got that correctly i'm not sure double check that but when it comes to anything like this apple cider you can see that's another niche there's so many sub niches inside of this crisscross applesauce that's a that was a saying that's been used for a long time. Any of the stuff right here, you're like, you're, cro you're crossing. So t you're thinking, when I think of apples, you're thinking teachers, right? A back to school teacher gift, love, first grade, they have the apple right there. And then we come down a little bit more, super teacher, and then it has an apple right there. Here again, it's another New York big apple. And you can see it's a consistent seller. Let's go back up here. This one too. You can see this one's a consistent seller, 18 rating. So it's pretty much... I want to say it's selling pretty consistently. If we come over here and look at this BSR, cool, cool looking shirt too. A little, little, yeah, look at that. Okay, look at it. boom. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. And for some reason, right here, there was a big boom spike in it. I'm not sure. Maybe it got shared like in an article or a blog or something, or they just cranked up the traffic or cranked the ad a little bit. Not too sure, but you can see like this right here. This is what you want to see because you want to see consistent. You want to create a consistent selling product or something that's selling every day and next thing you create next thing you know it's selling two or three four times a day and then going into q4 we're selling it like five to ten times a day and then you if you have five or ten products doing that you next thing you know you're making anywhere between 50 to 200 sales a day with your amazon merch account so <clears throat> yeah so apple cider too that's another niche right and so this is a there's a few different niches that i'm talking about when we're talking about apples so there's different types of apples too keep that in mind there's a green apple you see what they did right here with the little leopard print apple there's hungry for apples you can go i think it's bobbing for apples right let's see teacher new york city let's pick they're pick, you know, people pick apples picking season and let's see this one real fast let this load up i'm pretty sure it'll tr yeah i was thinking it'll trend down during the apple season picking season you can see obviously right in january and march all the way through may april may and then all of a sudden it starts to go down and i'm pretty sure this may be the apple picking season that's coming up something like that is a trending and you can even type that in remember apple picking season let them highlight this and just hit search and then hopefully something pops up there it is when is the best month to start go picking for apples this month coming up september we'll look at check this out when we come over here and look at the one of the best sales for this um this actual design or the niche you're going to see that september starts to pick up and starts to trend down and make more sales make a lot of sales come over here it's already trending down it's going down to make more sales so very powerful like just doing research like that how i showed you this right here implementing this with every single niche is one way to understand if i'm going to make sales with this damn design i have to create it right now right around this time and hopefully i start making sales and start making traction and then next year comes around you start making more sales and then you start to rank and then next thing you know it's a top selling design in your catalog and you're making sales over and over and over and over. And this applies pretty much any platform that you're on. This can apply to Etsy, it can apply to Redbubble, this can apply to Spreadshirt, this can apply to anything. Your own website on Shopify, Wix, whatever, name it. All right, so the next niche is going to be the writing niche. This is cool. This, if you can figure out how to write something in a different language on a shirt, you can make a lot of sales with this right here. It says go away, written in Japanese writing. I think, but stuff like this, converting it into a different language, it doesn't have to be in English. Remember, there's a lot of people that speak different languages in the USA. So if you literally say how many, the top 10 languages spoken in the USA. So come over here, top 10 languages. 
if I can spell right, languages in the USA. There it is. So <clears throat> that's just an idea. You may even double check this. There are probably even more than, than these, just these ones right here. But just think about that right there. If Spanish is the next one, can you convert your design into a Spanish speaking, uh, a Spanish, convert it into Spanish on that t-shirt design. And so when a person, like maybe even mixing English and Spanish on a t-shirt, that, that can be funny, right? <laughs> or translate one saying into 10 different sayings on a t-shirt, right? Well, that's another design. Okay. There's so many different designs, so many different ideas that come to mind right here. When we, I just typed that in literally just came off the top of my brain, which is cool. Today's forecast, hundred percent chance of writing right on. And look at, these are like, these are all simple text-based designs come down. I love the smell of writing in the morning, right? Love the smell of coffee in the morning. And I love the smell of, you can literally change this one keyword out and you can have a hundred different designs, but I like the idea here, but the, an idea, the idea was like come into this niche. You can see that it's a top selling niche. And then you come in here and if you figure out what can I do, what idea can I create in, the, in this niche that no one else has, which takes a little bit more work. And if you understand that, guys, if you understand that doing that right there can generate sales in a niche and the next thing you know, you have a top seller, even though it took a little bit more work and a little bit, a little bit of processing and researching and creating the idea, that right there can make you a lot of money. Instead of making a hundred designs for one niche, think of three to five different designs that no one has in this niche. And then boom, I'm a writer. Anything you say or do may be used in a story. Freaking amazing. And also too, to keep in mind, look at these BSRs as we're going down. A right on with the typewriter, old school typewriter, which is cool. Retro typewriter, eat, sleep, repeat, sign. Another Japanese shirt, writer, my favorite pen. All right, my writer's brain. This is my writing shirt. And as we're going down, look at the BSRs are still cranking in. I like this right here. This is cool. So classic little feather pen. I'm not even sure what this call is called right here. A little can canister with the ink in it. There's so many things that you can do with this. If you think about it, there's a lot that can be done. All right. And then funny, like funny uh, sayings in the, just the writing grammar niche, mixing those two together, you can get some stuff done there too. But as we're going down, you're seeing you can mix it with a lot too. teacher like teachers there's a lot and let's go down a little bit more so losing i think this is an awesome niche oh, shoot edit right on you can see that one right there but i think this is a, a niche that could definitely it's probably to be honest with creating something in this niche let me click on let's say let's say something like this one doesn't have no ratings yet it may have some let's see oh it has three those may be new but this is like a fairly new shirt i believe if we look at alt you're gonna see that it was up the end of last year so it's probably been up almost close eight months nine months and doing that within nine months it's a consistent seller on amazon Pretty cool. You get the point. You get the idea. Simple text-based design, by the way. Nothing too crazy about this design. Anyone can do this type of design. So I think this is a really awesome design. Yeah. And if you guys want more niche research, check out this video right up here. Thank you for watching.